experiencing design begins at the breakfast table. Design is an important part of the Finnish identity and contemporary lifestyle. In Finland, popular design objects are used in ordinary homes or cafes. Young designers make new interpretations by using traditional or decorative elements for that. Design is storytelling. Heikki Orvola has designed the shape for the tableware. It is called aika. Literally it means time in Finnish. The decoration name is taika. That could be translated magic in English. It is by Klaus Haapaniemi. He is one of the contemporary designers in the museum collection exhibition. His design is quite often inspired by Finland's nature with a twist of mysticism, deeper way to see things. Clothing and fashion are a message. The Jokapoika shirt was designed in the 1950s by Vuokko Nurmesniemi. It is an undisputable icon of Finnish fashion. This is one version of it. Jokapoika, that literally means every boy, was also the first unisex garment of the company Marimekko. It is timeless. Vuokko Nurmesniemi created hundreds of color combinations for the fabrics Piccolo that she used for the shirt. Jokapoika is still in production. Design is the interface for contemporary life. It does mean functional and accessible products and services for all kinds of people and cultures. In Finland we tend to think that practical design is good design. Antti Nurmesniemi and Pöri Rajalin designed the orange Helsinki underground trains. In their plan, the pencils that are made of fiber reinforced plastics were placed so that the passengers look ahead, that is straightforward. At the time, they did not trust people being ready to take a seat facing each others. But finally, the pencils were placed face to face. Learning and education are important for all of us, from kindergarten to universities and museums. Children are quite often in the focus and they can participate in our society. They are potent citizens. A high chair is a nice example it enables small children to be part of the discussion at the table. Maybe they can feel themselves equal in that way. Ben Av Sulten worked for the company Artec. His high chair design is from the 1960s. The upper part is painted plywood and the lower part is made by using lathe turning. Sometimes ordinary people can join in participatory projects. Their professional designers collect information from specialists like us. Here you can imagine how to handle big machinery. It feels 
ergonomic. And I know they have developed the concept with the users. Ponce Scorpion is a modern harvester. It is awarded for its design and technological innovations. Scorpion is a three-frame harvester with a fork boom. Its balancing system keeps the cabin horizontal in all conditions. Visibility from the cabin is very good. So the crane does not block the view in any direction. Ponce is made for demanding conditions and uneven terrain. In Finland we are familiar with new technologies and willing to adopt it. New innovations and applications are used for different purposes. They can radically change people's life. Nokia mobile phones are well known. Some people have told me that they learn to send SMS messages, for example with the phone 3310. Did you know that the SMS was a Finnish invention by an engineer Matti Makkonen? In the Nokia design process, it must have been essential that the phone is easy to use. For a long time, the phones have sent as well as text and audio information. In the 1990s, the brief for a designer, in this case Panu Johansson, told also that the user could be a person having one third of working time outside the office. Now that kind of working has become true in our everyday life. We will see what happens in the future when we continue to use design thinking in the society and in the administration. In the exhibition some objects are accessible. You can touch materials and study forms by hand. It feels cozy. The surface is also rough. The shortage of foreign materials during the Second World War brought substitute materials into Finnish everyday life. They were made of diverse natural products developed by companies in forestry. The industrial manufacture of paper yarn made of Finnish wood started at the Tampela textile mill in Tampere city in the beginning of the 1940s. Designers and artists of that time used wood-based materials innovatively for carpets, furnishing fabrics and wallpapers, as well as shoes. Today the Finnish design company Wood Notes uses paper yarn. Harri Koskinen has designed the plain but elegant chair Ko Tuoli for the company. Finnish design is smart and bold. One of Harri Koskinen's best known designs is the block lamp for Design House Stockholm. It resembles a large block of ice with a pulp inside it. The piece is cast with a cavity. The original idea was to pack in between the two parts some other design objects. But now it captures light. Let's have a look. Have you seen the form before? I guess you may know the Aalto vase. I have got the permission to show you a work in progress piece for Alvar Aalto's classic. He made the sketch 
for it in 1936. The Alt Vase was also called the Savoy Vase. They have made a huge amount of different variations with different color tones for it. Nowadays, Itala Company has pro produced also totally different objects or concepts after the shape. Here, on the lower level, we'll see a wooden mold. And on the right hand side, there is a steel mold. If we compare them, so we'll see that the end products are different. If you are using a wood mold that they used to do in the beginning of the uh, process, so the surface is more alive. And in case of steel mold, the lines are more strict. Ecologically sustainable ways to travel in the cityscape are now needed. And for some time, biking has been promoted in a strong way in Helsinki. Eero Rislakki was a pioneer of Finnish industrial design. He created the popular Jopo unisex bicycle for the company Helkama. He designed the mud guards and the colors for it. Jopo is an acronym for Jokamiehen Polkupyörä, the bicycle for everyone. In the 1980s, they added some new technologies and cares, and it is still in use. The art and practice of sauna is a vital part of Finnish culture. The stool right here is designed by Antti Nurmesniemi for a hotel sauna section. The hotel Palace Palace was trendy in 1952 when international guests arrived to Helsinki because of the Helsinki Olympic Games. I can imagine that sauna was part of the experience. The structure is simple. The seat allows water drain away. And the round part is also laminated. The stool is an icon of the time. And there are several museums that have it in their own collections. There are two million saunas in Finland. A traditional sauna looks very different compared to contemporary versions. But uh, it is so that the procedure of bathing itself has remained unchanged for centuries. Sauna is considered a sacred place. And who knows, maybe that is the reason why Finnish people are ranked so high in happiness, in general life satisfaction after the World Happiness Report. Design contributes to the quality of life, but well-being, on the other hand, it is an individual experience. Thank you for joining us today. It was my pleasure. If you have any comments, please leave a note below. See you next time. Cheers.